Now, if your bits are a bit frozen and the tub of roses you ate for insulation over Christmas isn't doing its job, then we may have the solution to keep you warm. Not to sound like your mother now, but we all need a good winter coat and we have found a few gems to keep us all toasty till spring gets here. Angela, today I'm not so dressed for the weather, but you're going to tell me what's in the trend when it comes to winter coats. Absolutely, we've got, we're looking at four different coats today. So we've got a bit of colour, some classic little cuts and, and just a nice little mix of, of coats for the winter time. Great, now we really need them because it is freezing outside, it's totally hot water bottle season. Absolutely. What's in look number one? Look number one is a beautiful red coat from Principles and I mean a red coat is a really classic classic take, you know everyone has a black coat, a red coat is just a really nice nice change, it's got a beautiful bow detailing on the collar and bows are very big this season. We've just belted it up with a little black belt with a jewel tone on it and then we've just kept it very simple, black tights, um, lovely little boots and, and that's it. And Angela, look number two, we've got our Bet Lynch look. <laughs> yeah well, well I was thinking it was a bit more of an Olsen twins look so <laughs> Bet Lynch is fine too but it's just a, a younger look you know it's a little little faux fur jacket from Topshop it's 91 euro it's very reasonably priced it's very fashionable and it's very cozy so we just teamed that with a basic white t-shirt a little pair of skinny jeans a tan belt and again your classic little red shoes to kind of vamp it up a little bit and it's just a really sweet look. Now look number three is really different uh, this is something completely unusual I like the scarf as well Absolutely, this is again a more sophisticated look. It's a little pea coat from Whistles and um, Whistles has been relaunched um, so they've, they're, they've a lot of different styles and the pea coat is a very classic little little look and it's in an olive. It's a really good good colour for Irish skin tone yeah, and then the little bright pop of colour on the scarf just really brightens it up a little bit. And then the zany tights, are we going to be wearing wacky tights? Absolutely, the tights have been seen all over the catwalk. Cavalli, D&G, um, all of the big designers have really gone for it with tights. Chanel we've seen dual tone tights as well so definitely pop a bit of colour in especially with a classic cut like that it just adds a nice little contrast so the purple tights are definitely cool. Now my favourite look, look number four, of course Sex in the City, we promised we wouldn't do any more on Sex in the City but we, I just couldn't resist. It's difficult not to I think. And the belt make Absolutely, the belt, I mean she, she wore that belt with dresses, with skirts and with a black coat very similar to the one that we looked at. So that's a coat from Zara, it's 169. Great. Yeah, it's a really good price for, for such a classic coat. It's a lovely A-line skirt, so it's really good for a lot of shapes as well. And then we just popped a little hat on it. It's from House of Fraser, 70 euro. Just again, keeping on the theme of, of Carrie, you know, and it's a really sweet look for winter. Keeps, the, keeps you warm. Great, so it's not boring black, which I'm wearing today, but just more the colours of reds, olives, you can mix it around. Absolutely, and I mean, like what we did with the black coat, you pop on your accessories, and then again, we went with the tights, with the really sharp blue tight, which again, lifted a little, little bit and it's a change from from all black but you can't go wrong with a classic coat but there's definitely a mix of colors available out there <laughs> 